This is uh, this is my car right here. Dwayne Tucker has the drive for a new adventure and to make things right. There's no possible way that you're not going to feel the hurt and pain that I caused that family, my family, and the state of Nebraska. In 1982, a judge sentenced Tucker and his half-brother to life in prison for the murder of a restaurant cashier, Lisa Lisco. Tucker was the lookout during a robbery that ended in Lisco's death. As an adult, he never knew freedom until just weeks ago. Resentenced and parole because the Supreme Court says an automatic life sentence for teens is unconstitutional. I am truly blessed. Mm. Now at 52 years old, Tucker has a second chance. Working at a meatpacking plant and here at Metro Community College's re-entry program. Reaching out to some of those who's coming behind me to help them get settled in society, even though I'm not completely settled myself. And in the process, learning how the world outside has changed since 1982. Oh, okay. Nope, got to open it. Tucker's manager, also a former inmate, is finding a man ready to make an impact. As we recognized early on that not only was he um, committed and focused on moving forward and doing something different with his life, but he was also invested in the population that we serve. And Tucker wants to be proof that it's never too late to change. Hi. Morning, 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 morning. He's working on an associate's degree in human services. Dwayne is amazing. He's um, very, he likes to participate in class. He's very supportive of other students. And hoping others learn from his mistakes and his redemption. To slow down and take it one day at a time. In Omaha, Chin Doan, KETV, Newswatch 7.